Well, that's it, folks. Baseball season officially over. And depending on who you were cheering for in the World Series, it was either a historic win for your team or just a heartbreaking sweep. And now we know a lot of people here probably going for the Arizona Diamondbacks. We get it. But Tamara Lopez found out there is a really good reason that we should be happy for the Texas Rangers tonight. Yeah, Tessa, that's right. That's because um, an Albuquerque native uh, mm -hmm. was on that World Series winning team. Yep. And today I got an inside look at where his baseball training all started right here in the Duke City. It's the Texas Rangers win the World Series. Tuesday night, the Texas Rangers beat the Arizona Diamondbacks for their first World Series title ever. And why would Albuquerque care about that win? I don't know one. Ground to a throw. Texas takes the lead. The guy that got the Rangers on the scoreboard, he's from Albuquerque. Mitch Garver graduated from La Cueva and then played for the Lobos. But long before he was scoring in the World Series, he was warming up in the batting cages at the Albuquerque Baseball Academy. Matt Foote and his dad run the facility. It's awesome to see. Um, you know, I've known Mitch since he was 15 years old. He started out with us when he was a freshman. At that time, we only had high school teams. Foote says it's always exciting to cheer on hometown talent. I think a lot of people wouldn't, wouldn't think of New Mexico as a state that produces a lot of professional athletes, but on the baseball level, it's, it's, been, it's been really cool to see the number of guys that, that not necessarily have just come through here, but the guys in general um, make it. Garver's hometown was just as excited. Lobo Baseball tweeted this after the win about the Pro Bow, and at one point it was one ABA alum against another. Garver and the Rangers beat out Alex Bregman and the Astros to make it to the World Series. Bregman is also from Albuquerque and he also trained at Albuquerque Baseball Academy. I'd never tell this to his face um, because he already has two rings, but uh, you know, I, I, uh, I, I wasn't sad that, that Garver got it this time and not Bregman. Foot says Garver and Bregman are proud New Mexicans. And Mitch is, uh, when he was still living here, he was very active in the community doing camps and fundraisers and stuff like that. Bregman, same thing before he moved. So I heart those guys. Those guys are, are really great and, and really prideful of being uh, New Mexicans. The final score was 5-0, so Garver's point wasn't the only one that night. But to Albuquerque, it's the only one that mattered. Either way, he was the one that got him going, so that's awesome, and, and we're, we're super proud of him. Now, this is Garver's first World Series win ever, of mm -hmm. course, but he joined several others from New Mexico to win a World Series. So yep. on that list, of course, Alex Bregman, like we mentioned, with the Astros, as well as Blake Swihart with the Red Sox back in 2018, and, of course, Cody Ross with the Giants back in 2010. So just a lot of New Mexico talent to celebrate today. Yeah, and we're always going to cheer on the hometown guys and gals, for that matter. All Absolutely. right. Tamara, thanks so much.